Hello and welcome to more remnants from the ashes. Rock around with my little magnum. Not a boss. I already killed one of these. Holy shit! Alright. I probably shouldn't be melee built then. My little fast gun, I think. Okay. The revolver was really good at two shotting, though. The other one, not this little tiny gun. Well, you see, it might be okay if we set the boss on fire. Oh my god, it's gonna take a million bullets to set on fire. Where the fuck is this smoke coming from? It doesn't.
This thing. Bags full. machine gun was not as good as I thought it would be. Unless it wasn't, I didn't notice. Regular iron instead of the special stuff. of the labyrinth. crystal. You have a hollow seed. And I did use up all my cubes. Go back. I can upgrade my little vials and make a thing. Let's go to the old lady first. The no. portent returns. Have you anything of the root for me? I have lost much, but I can offer this. Yeah, juice up my thing. Okay. Charge is increased by one. At all is well, child. Eating any scrounge? He sells metal, doesn't she? And luminites. Take care then. Put on potions. You want to take the fire bullets off my Uzi and put it on my regular revolver thing again. That is this girl. Help me. What now? Yeah? Better 
Better be worth my time. Seed collar summons a root hollow that deals 50 damage per hit, lasts 30 seconds, maximum two. I can be a summoner. Make. Don't yeah, that. good. Now go. Oh, traveler. Certainly. Hey. Like the strongest gun. This was really good for little guys, though. Hmm. Who's the thing to remove the hot shot? So long. Is that this girl? Keep moving. Yeah. Fine. Let's have a look. We're done here. Fuck! Do I remove the thing from my gun? Thanks. Oh my god. Do it in my pot. Oh my god! I could do it out in the field. Shotgun. This is melee damage. Oh my god, I should have. Should have triggered that. But also, you be the fire one. Or we could try the minions one. Keep moving. Minions. The Magnum can have the minions. And this gun can have the the fire. Just because I can shoot fast with it. This thing turned out to be ass. Cause so I had to uh, unload like four clips on some monsters just to get it charged up. That's a lot. I deal range 13 meters. I deal range 18 meters. Ugh. Bonus I'm not in the mood for chat. Both of those are 18. Though. Walk around with the summoning. Summoning. These are potions. We took out a boss. It's been only 13 minutes. Okay. Jump back to the checkpoint. Oh, no. Thermal Geo, the fire that burned the world. Oh, there's a guy right there. I should cast one puff. Get me! Oh, I'm fine. Not yet, I'll save that. Charged up. 
already charged up. That's nice. Let's grab the ammo. Go get him. Get him. Yeah. Get him. Oh fuck, he missed. Get that guy. Oh, holy shit, he got a critical. Teammate. He took care of so much shit by himself. Bomb gun ammo. Whoa. It's over. Yes, I did use it. Where's that guy stuck? Fucking cheater. Go get him. Helper's gone. That was rough. All right, this thing's ready. Yeah, the guy's coming. We'll get him. Go get him. Go get that guy. Get him. Go fast before he gets me. Yeah. 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 Holy shit, it comes back. Fuck. Ammo, then we'll jump down and I saw some gold here. Nothing. Oh my god, can I do I can do another one. I can do another one without shooting. Oh, little fella. I like having a little tiny servant. I never finished exploring the corner. Look 
looking like the way out. I kind of don't want to. I guess we can always come back. In Caller's Bell, the ancient subjugation of the Rin has evolved. I touch. King Hollow. And I've got two summons. I started out with two summons. That's weird. The boss. Oh, tree. This guy looks like the type of guy we should use fire on. Just charge it up if I touch it. Holy shit, it fucking did. It's all charged up. Ah! 
down or to see a weak spot. Comrades. Charge up that fire plug. There we go. Spike him down a little bit harder with the fire. God is
fuck was that? What did I just do? Oh no, did I frenzy? Shit. I didn't even frenzy in the fight. No. Oh fit. Oh. There! Oh my god. Oh my god. No way. Alright. First year. All out of long gun ammo. That's what it's not. Affirmative. All right. Yes. was good for fire. Oh, fit. I had to dump bag dump a little bit harder. Does that automatically? Oh wait, no shoot. Like treasure chests. Where's my treasure? Get like an ant's heart or something. Did we? Quick hands, reload speed. Traits. This isn't gonna super help. <laughs> it is this one though. This one I can already sneak up all the way behind and hit on. That one, I guess that one helps. gland valuable resource harvested from the end oh we did get a thing i didn't notice for weapon mm. Mm. take me home yes no i've run out weapon weapon What up, oh traveler? Certainly. Weapon. Crafting. Be safe out there. Keep moving. Yeah, you killed the ant. It's just bigger deadwood. Hey, she knows. 
He's the one that makes shit. Oh, Spore Bloom. 200 damage. Wow. Fires an explosive round that deals 25 rock damage within 3 meters and will leave a deadly glass cloud that slows enemies and lasts for 7 seconds. Make it! Yeah, good. Now go. Four shot. So it comes pre modded. There's an explosive round that deals 25 rock. Mm. Oh, this thing starts strong. This one you can't take his spore shot away. Alright. Answer of Thorns. This is melee damage 23%. Keep moving. The little gun's good for uh, pumping a lot of damage at once. Let me upgrade this guy. I just ah, forgot. Good to see you again. Just remember. Ah, let's see what I've got. And pump up my spore gun. Just wants iron and luminites. So I'm going 200 up to. God, he wants a lot of shit. And it's swamped over to forged iron. But it's doing 300 damage. Wow, what we want. Wow. Be safe out there. Thanks. It's probably going to be overkill on a lot of things. Visible building. What was that thing? Look to where light imitates water reaching for the sun. Ah. Ah. Holy shit. Investigate the tower. Why do you distract the Keeper? For a man named hmm. Ford. Insignificant. Chance of success negligible. 
The Guardians are destroyed. The Devourer lurks unchecked. The Labyrinth erodes daily. And I can behold the tide. On the other hand, your journey is not guaranteed to fail. Very well. Enter and see. The Labyrinth holds all doors and infinite possibilities. If the path you require exists, it lies within. Answer some questions. Mm -hmm. Yes, there is time. What do you mean the Guardians were destroyed? The root threatens every world, so every world is given a protector. Guardians are not easily killed. When one dies, however, the root can claim that world and grow stronger. The loss of several guardians made way for the devourer. The devourer has made the root very strong indeed. I am the keeper. I will be the last to fall. Where is my world? This guardian? place is both like the worlds and unlike them. It is the core. Inviolable, and without need of a guardian. My world is inviolable, how did the root get here? I have neither knowledge nor resources to devote to the question. The root could not have come without invitation. An agent of the root, whether witting or unwitting, is unknown and irrelevant. The devourer was the one who erased even the labyrinth's guardian. Leaving only myself to hold back on ending rot. Unfortunately, my battle cannot be won with time. It is the seat of the worlds, built upon the core, and all worlds are built upon it. The labyrinth contains all doors that ever were, are, or may be. Some are lost, some destroyed, but all are contained within. This is the maximum help I can provide at the moment. All endeavors will fail if I do any more. Okay. Hopefully this gun's good. Great on lot. Elemental resistance. Quick hands, mother's blessing. They're all so slight. <laughs> I should check. Even over here. We get to that one. <laughs> this 
sway? Does it do anything? It does not. Enough. What is this? Oh, there's a little note this time. Horses. A low-tech swamp, but no less dangerous for that. Imagine the Louisiana Bayou, except the alligators are armed, mosquitoes are big as a man, and you're a damn trespasser. I don't know if there are any answers here, but I've been searching so long. At this point, I can't afford to leave unturned stones at my back. On little notes he left. What the hell? Oh, wait. What the hell is the Iskal? The queen of this world talks like it's some kind of oven, but her subjects sure as hell aren't showing me any peace or harmony. Try get in here. That one have a piece of paper on it? I don't think so. I'm gonna go double check though. Probably would have noticed it. No. Oh fuck, I turned around so far. I never finished exploring. I would also go somewhere. Rom is home to several sentient peoples. There is the Undying King, the only one of his kind as far as I know. He rules with the help of the beer. Powerful living constructs that do the king's bidding. The strange reclusive Akari appear to be the most intelligent life form, except perhaps the Undying himself, whom I have yet to meet, and the powerful mutated Buri, which are the closest things Rom has to humans, though they are decidedly not human, not anymore. Rom, a dangerous wasteland of a world. Nearly everything within has tried to kill me at one point or another. The most dangerous are the servants of the so-called Undying King, but this world presents intriguing data on fighting the root. The root invaded, yet the world survived. I will return again and again until I earn more. 
The relations between the people of Rome are complex and obtuse. The Akari are religious scholars. The Veer spend most of their time quelling Akari rebellions and enslaving the Buri. Yet only the Akari fight back. Why? The Buri seem to have accepted their role in society, even glory in it. I don't understand, but then so much of this world remains a mystery to me. I see. Okay. From January 1990, it's been a year. A year since Evelyn took it into her head to... Rom is a desolated hellscape, but it shows a lot of promise. The people here fought the root and won. There's so much I can learn. Maybe even how to end the root for good. Maybe how to help her. Right. Right. Rom, 1993. This is my fourth trip here. I believe the citadels are locked tight, guarded by the most terrifying beings I've ever seen in my travels. I've had to seek my information elsewhere from a people calling themselves the Akari. Back home, Nadine is, uh, what, 20 now? 21? Ah. Uh, you finally remember how old they are, and they go and change it again. In any case, she's becoming distant. She hasn't wanted to travel with me for months now. Yesterday, she asked why I keep searching. I told her the stakes, but she wants me home, wants me to protect the ward. She doesn't understand I'm protecting the ward. I have to do this and I have to do it alone. The root would wipe us out if they had any notion of what I was doing. Isha, February 1995. Isha, it's peaceful here, beautiful. At least when nothing's trying to kill me. If it weren't so damn deadly, I could see myself settling down here someday. Isha, 1995. The Pan have been far more welcoming than they were on my first visit. Some, anyway. Apparently, I've fallen in with the destitute and enslaved. There's a vast social rift between the Pan. Has been for has been for centuries, but a change is brewing. The Pan are talking of rebellion. Avun, in particular, has asked for my help. But what can I do? Well, isn't that something? I don't much. Wait, I don't much. Wait, what? I don't much about rebellions. But if I don't know much, and know nothing. They have no experience in rebellion or emancipation at all. Never in their history have Pan turned against the immortals and their empress. But me, I'm American. Overthrowing oppressive oligarchs is what we do. I told them about our revolutionary war, the civil war, even the civil rights movement. Basic stuff, really. But they hung on every word and wanted more. What happened after the Boston Tea Party? How did the Underground Railroad work? What is a protest? With every story I remembered, fire lit up their eyes. I barely remember the first sentence of the Gettysburg ad Address, yet somehow in this world I've become a revolutionary firebrand. Now all they need are some weapons and training. Oh shit. Rom, August 1995. I died. This happened once before, back when the roof first invaded, but I thought it was a fruit then. Something related to Clawbone. But no, this is real. I died, and now I'm around again as if nothing happened watch out for those Idri by the way the ones with red crystals instead of faces their beams can pierce solid rock oh I won't make that mistake again could Evelyn have done this it sounds crazy but her sacrifice protected Ward 13 somehow what if she did something to protect me as well I could ask her but no no I'd get no useful answers Evelyn's gone it's just the root now and they only wish me harm God, what if this is some kind of curse? What if they're taunting me with immortality? Doesn't matter, I can use it. The root doesn't know what I'm up to. If they did, they'd never let me have this power. But this power is precisely why I must be the one to solve this puzzle. I alone can end the root. Wrong. September 2001. This has been taking years. Holy smokes. It took forever to decipher what the Akari were trying to tell me, but I finally learned how they defeated the root. The Undying King basically nuked their world. That explains the desolation, the mutants. But that can't be the only way to beat the root, can it? I told Nadine about the Undying King's scorched earth solution. I shouldn't have. Now she thinks my quest is crazier than ever. She's worried I'll start thinking nukes make more sense. Ridiculous. Where would I even get nukes? 2007. Goddamn. Jesus, don't shoot those beehive mutants in the head. Makes the bees and the mutants angry. Better to take out the body first. Oh, we're learning how to kill things we don't know yet. 
I'm a grandfather. I still can't believe it. I have a granddaughter, Ellen Ford. I wish I could be. I wish it could be a joyous occasion, but Ellen's birth renewed my old argument with Nadine. She wants me back in the ward again. I get it. I do. I'd like nothing more than to live with my daughter and granddaughter in peace. But how would it help to fight a losing war on Earth? Now I have to figure out how. Figure out the root secret to kill them at the source. I. I admit I don't want. I don't know how to do that yet, but I've learned so much these past years. The roots of hive consciousness, for example. That's something, yeah? It means there might be a central mind to destroy, if I could find it. Don't matter, I can't sit around War 13 guiding scavengers and hoarders. That won't help anyone. Nadine and her husband are great at leading them. It's an important job I'm no longer qualified for. This is what I must do. Isha, March 2013. That... Navoon is one hell of a leader. Over the last 20 years, she's riled up a serious percentage of the commoner and slave populations. Her abilities taken notice. I helped, of course. I've been running guns and training soldiers about a year, about once a year on my trips here. I think I'm a wanted criminal now, but that's nothing new. These days, the monsters are trying to kill me no matter where I go. 2024? Lately, I think I've been coming to Rom to escape. Can you imagine that? An irradiated, an irradiated hellscape is more friendly to me than my ward, my family. It's Ellen now. She was so sweet when she was little, but she's getting sulky. She picked up Nadine's disappointment in me. Maybe I should stay in the world more. Get to know her better. But I'm so close, I can feel it. There is a way to stop the root. One that doesn't require nuking the earth. I will find it. If I don't, who will? 25. I don't recognize this one. I'm trying to remember every dreamer project that I had. He shall rob. Ow, what the fuck was that? Uh, he shall rob Gabriel and Casa. Clementine's Freezer. That Dark World Harzgard. And it, it's also had a bet on. None of them look like this. Either we never connected a dreamer to this world, or there were projects I was unaware of. Either way, it's a risk. Maybe that's why I've put it off so long. I'm running out of options. It's a risk I have to take. Or says, the natives seem low on both education and technology, but there's something else going on here. I found evidence of infrastructure, villages, agriculture. They used to have progress, but all of it's been abandoned now. What happened? I don't know. Sometimes I think there's something sinister about this world. Maybe the root or something or some similar species took over somehow. And other times I think it's just a damn swamp. I'm wasting my time. I should be looking for this keeper I've heard about. Or maybe I'm missing Nadine and Ellen. How long has it been now? Two years? I've never been away at one time for so long. I should go back soon. I just gotta follow a couple more leads in the swamp. Maybe try to learn about the keeper. Then I'll head back. Now I'll stay at the ward for a few weeks this time and make up for it. 2026. Finally, I found someone in this damn swamp who will talk to me like a person. Unfortunately, all she does is espouse the virtues of her world. I know better than most what a bucket of porcelain or all that is. She calls herself a queen. All she talks about is oneness and enlightenment. But she won't tell me a damn thing about what the Iskal is, let alone any kind of history of her people. The past is gone, she always says. All that matters is the Iskal. I think my earlier suspicions were right. Something's fishy here. Five months. Five months investigating and talking to that damn queen, and I might as well be slamming my head against the wall for all the good it's doing. She won't talk about anything but Iskal. Iskal, Iskal. I have no interest in her cult. Not even to get more information. I've seen less sinister propaganda in Moscow. I'm getting nowhere. It's been almost three years now since I've been back to the ward. The swamps bust... The swamp's a bus and finding the keeper can wait. I need to go home. Anything's gonna give me hell, but at this point, it's hell I'll gladly take. I'll stay a good month in the world this time. Whatever they might think of me, it'll be good to see my daughter and granddaughter again. 2029. I guess this is it. Done with Earth. Done with the root and the mother. Done with it all. I'll leave this here in case anyone wonders what happened to me. I'm off to find Naboon and 
do what good I can with what I got left. I can think of worse ways to live to live out my days. Wow. This should start. Nine. Like thirty nine years fucking around. That was a lot of lore. That was a fucking hour of lore. <laughs> We'll wait at the entrance over here. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye. What up? Base this bit up. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye 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 bye. See you on the next one. You got a lot of lore on that one.